Alright, let's talk about Doppler effect for radar gun. I have with me a radar gun that emits an EM wave onto a target. Now, this target could be a moving target or a stationary target. Upon hitting the target, that EM wave is then reflected back to the radar gun. Let's call the incident wave as wave 1 and the reflected wave as wave 2. Notice that for this target, it serves both as an observer for wave 1 as well as a source for wave 2. What does that mean? It means that the observed frequency that came from wave 1 now becomes the source frequency for wave 2. So this is an EM wave. We can't use the Doppler equation for sound. We recall the frequency shift delta F for EM wave. And delta F is actually F0 minus F. F0 is the observed frequency, while F is the frequency of the emitted EM wave. Now this is given by the expression F V over C, where V refers to the relative speed between the observer and the source. And C refers to the speed of the emitted EM wave. Now I'm going to make F not the subject and bring F across. I get this expression and I factorize F. I get this expression. So right now I'm going to derive the total frequency shift for a radar gun. So let's consider the outgoing wave 1. Let F1 be the observed frequency. So F1 is essentially this expression. And I will call this equation 1. Consider the returning reflected wave 2. I let F2 be the observed frequency for wave 2. And F2 would also be the same expression, but now the source frequency is no longer F. It is actually the observed frequency for wave 1, which is F1. So I put F1 and I insert the remaining equation. And I substitute equation 1. Here I get this expression. And I will expand the brackets. I get this. Notice a v square over c square essentially becomes a very, very small number. So I will ignore this expression. So I carry on. I can express my equation as such. And I'm going to bring f across. So I get this. And notice that f2 minus f is actually the total frequency shift for the radar gun. And this function is actually double of this function. So the total frequency shift for a radar gun is actually twice that for a single incident EM wave. So with that, I hope you gain an understanding for the derivation of the frequency shift for radar gun. Thank you.